Law schools today need deans who have a clear vision about the future and how to prepare students for that future. Clients today expect lawyers to understand their business, to understand what they really need, not to deliver law services the way they've always been delivered, but instead to think about technology, creativity, innovation, value to the client, to deliver services faster and better. Our justice system is at an inflection point. We have to have new thinking about how we deliver legal services. It takes a completely different set of skills than it did even a few years ago. Suffolk University Law School agrees. Law schools need to educate lawyers who are prepared for the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. That's why, as chair of Suffolk's Dean Selection Committee, I am delighted to announce that we've hired as dean a national leader in shaping the future of legal services and education, Andrew Perlman. In Andy, we found that leader right here at home. He is a Suffolk Law professor and directs the Law School's Institute on Law Practice Technology and Innovation. This is a great opportunity for any law professor to take on the deanship of a school that takes so seriously training outstanding lawyers. Suffolk has a remarkable tradition of training lawyers who are ready to hit the ground running. But we need to also prepare our students for the 21st century legal marketplace, and that includes exposing our students to new ways of delivering legal services, including how to use technology and other innovative methods. I appointed Andy Perlman as co-chair of the ABA's Commission on the Future of Legal Services because there's no one in our country who has a better understanding of where the profession and the delivery of legal services need to go. He sees the future very, very clearly. And he's leading the charge in changing legal education to meet the needs of the clients. There are only a few schools in the country really at the vanguard of pushing forward through legal innovation, and Suffolk University is one of them. So, uh, with regard to Andy has emerged as a national leader in this regard. Law school graduates today need a wide range of new skills and new knowledge, and that includes understanding the business needs of their clients. And that's why I'm very excited that we're gonna have closer collaboration with the Sawyer Business School going forward. Andy really understands the importance of interdisciplinary education. He understands the opportunities for um, collaboration between the law school, the business school, and the College of Arts and Sciences. The added layer is that Andy brings momentum. He continues what we've been doing here for the last several years with vision, with forward attention, and with great connections in terms of innovation and leadership. Andy is going to be a visionary for Suffolk. He has this amazing ability to listen carefully, to challenge the status quo. Andy's been leading the discussion in many ways nationally on these issues. We we're fortunate to have him in the building. We didn't have to look much further than our front door. He was here. He was the visionary leader that every law school in the country would love to, to grab and take his talent. With 23,000 alums, who are in so many different parts of the legal industry, this school has such a rich tradition of creating and developing and graduating outstanding lawyers. To be a part of that institution and to help lead it into the future is an exciting opportunity for me, and I look forward to working with the entire Suffolk community to make Suffolk Law School even stronger and better than it is today.